glad to be 31, so a lot of countries out there. So the resolution, okay, free and equal. I haven't announced this yet, and we're going to be doing it really in detail soon. We're opening a studio in LA, number one. We're going to have a network. It just literally happened the last couple weeks. We're going to have a reality show. <laughs> I mean, I, this is like a ridiculously 20, 30, 60 million dollar project. I can't even believe it. A reality show. Imagine having Ron and Ralph Nader and Adam Kokesh and Jill Stein and you know the Liberty leaders here, state by state, going around with our tour. The Dar Jordan Page, the Billy Corkins of, of Smashing P Pumpkins, Soja, all these different bands, you know, that we're meeting here. And uh, top to bo bottom to top is the way to do it. And in doing this, we're going to launch a national database. This database is going to list every single candidate running for office. Whether you're with a party, whether you're not with a party, it's going to show the private interest money in the electoral process. It's going to have honest media, honest organizations, uh, everything honest, all together, all this resources at your fingertips, how to get on the ballot, uh, what constitutional attorneys could you reach out if you're running as a libertarian, green, independent, and so on. We're going to be that all-purpose database of creating our own media, and in doing that, I'm quite confident that uh, we're going to inspire lots of independents to run for office for the local races in 2014. Right. Independents yeah. across the spectrum that uh, say no in the Federal Reserve, you know, no to the Patriot Act, no to India A, no to SOPA, no to the drones, and so on. <laughs> yeah! Here, here! <laughs> way, but we're doing it because I've learned the money behind the Federal Reserve happens to be the money behind the Commission on the Presidential Debate. Huh. Imagine that. So you have no. elites that are putting in 40, 50, 60 million dollars. Oh, they use the Commission to influence the elections, to buy out and run ads for ABC, NBC, CBS, and in return, they sponsor them. They're run by the former chair of the Democratic and Republican Party who are puppets to Rockefeller and Rothschild and the Morgans and all these uh, elite. And they don't have bear any ill will or negativity, believe it or not, towards the elite, for Ob towards Obama, towards Romney. I actually feel sad for them. I feel sorry for them because if they weren't there, there would be somebody else to replace them. Exactly. Rothschild, pretty old, not, okay, he'll be replaced. It's a system we have to reform to fix yeah. this. And in order to end the Fed, we have to reform the electoral system. Uh, we need to unite across the spectrum to do this. So 2016, we will take the funding from our network, our PR, working together, building others. That's what Free Equal's about. It's not about me. It's about all of you. It's about the organization. It's about creating that dialogue and, and, and building others. We need to grow mentally, socially, physically, and spiritually in order to face the fiscal cliff and see through to a new, better life. And we will overcome the obstacles one at a time, each and every time. So I wanna end on this note, it's a little different. I do foresee a huge, powerful, peaceful movement come the 2013-14 election because that's what has to happen in order for us not to fall beyond the Great Depression into uh, the Dark Ages. And we're gonna do that youth will come out strong. The 18 to 28 year olds don't underestimate them. The debate, the Larry King debate, my favorite part, can anybody guess my favorite part of that debate, Larry King? Uh, it was the end. There was a standing ovation for three minutes, over three minutes of all these kids from colleges standing. I it brought tears to my eyes even thinking about it right now. And, and they just stood there and they kept clapping and they didn't